Now that Fox and Disney are playing nice and sharing, the time is nigh for Deadpool to finally wander over to the MCU. Sure, it's all under the same big Marvel umbrella, but weird contracts and ownership rights meant that the Marvel banner was split into several different subsections. There's the main MCU, which boasts the Avengers and most of the heroes you know and love. Then there's the Fox side of things, which produces Deadpool, Wolverine, the X-Men, and the Fantastic Four. That side of things is a lot less popular. Wait, did I say popular? I meant to say a lot less good. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? However, now that Disney has acquired Fox and all of its assets, all of these characters are able to interact with one another and roam freely throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That means that Deadpool could be grazing his way over to the MCU sooner than you think. Did you know that Deadpool and Spider-Man have a long storied history together in the comic book source material? While they haven't appeared on the big screen together yet, it makes sense that two of Marvel's most sarcastic and hilarious heroes would get along. Odds are, it's only a matter of time before these two are bantering with one another on the big screen. But how? Find out after this short break. Okay, so, with multiverses now in play, it's very possible that Deadpool makes an appearance in a Spider-Man movie. They don't really need to explain how or why he shows up because they can just claim he's from another dimension or timeline. That kind of nonsense totally works now. Whether it's in Far From Home or the next yet to be named Spider-Man movie, Marvel might make first contact between Disney and Fox by utilizing two of their most iconic characters. Even if it's just something small, you know, like an Easter egg, if you will. That would be enough to keep fans on their toes like me at my Pilates class this morning. Yeah, I do Pilates, big deal. So what? It would make sense for the story too. In Avengers Endgame, we saw Spidey's mentor, Tony Stark, go night-night. Night-night, Tony. He probably ain't coming back anytime soon. And Petey Parker is still an impressionable youth looking for guidance. He sure is. We know that he finds a bit of leadership in Nick Fury and potentially even Mysterio, but who knows how long that'll last. Insert Deadpool, who also made a promise to his late girlfriend that he'd be helpful to children, and we've got all the makings of a hilarious duo. Albeit, Wade Wilson would be a lot less positive of an influence than Tony Stark was. He's not very responsible, so it would probably be more of an anti-mentor situation. Then again, he's kind of an anti-hero, so he's anything but inconsistent. He'll either help Peter Parker evolve into a better hero and a better person, or guide him in the exact opposite direction. So how else can Deadpool factor into the MCU? Well, what if he's already made an appearance and we just didn't know about it? There's a theory circling around on the interwebs that Deadpool has already been featured in the main MCU, just under a different name. Noob Master 69. If you'll recall, there's a scene in Avengers Endgame where Thor is playing Fortnite and verbally attacks another player through the headset. We know the player's name is Noob Master 69, but aren't given any other details. While most audiences assumed it was probably just some snotty-nosed teen gamer talking smack, what if it wasn't? What if that was actually someone we've met before? Perhaps someone who's a pro at snarky comments and getting under people's skin? I think you invented notes never ever before heard in music on that audition. It would be a fantastic way of incorporating Deadpool into the MCU and let audiences know that their favorite heroes now exist within the same scope of reality. In an upcoming movie, or even on a Disney Plus show, they should include a scene of Deadpool playing Fortnite and getting yelled at, essentially showing the other end of the spectrum. Speaking of Disney Plus, there's definitely another route they can take. Disney's launching their own streaming service to rival Netflix and the like, so they're gonna be leveraging a lot of their talent in order to acquire subscribers. We already know that there's gonna be a slew of characters jumping from the big screen to the smaller one, for example, it's already confirmed that there will be standalone series based on Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Falcon, Loki, and others. Seeing as how Deadpool is one of the company's most popular characters, but doesn't really have much of an important storyline at the moment, they could very well add him to the mix. Seems like a win-win-win, with only one glaring issue. You see, Disney happens to be a family-friendly company that specializes in content for younger audiences. Deadpool is not that. It's unlikely that Disney would be cool with an R-rated series on their precious new platform, yet the Deadpool character is truly at its best when the gloves are off and it's no holds barred. 
Nobody wants to see Deadpool on a leash, so that might cause some conflicts within Disney HQ. Then again, they did already do a Deadpool Christmas movie that was PG-13. By the way, did anybody else get suckered into that one? I rented it thinking there was a new Deadpool movie I hadn't seen yet, and then six dollars and three minutes later, I realized it was just a repackaging of Deadpool 2 but with less curse words. I had already seen it, so that was a fun surprise. No? Nobody else? That didn't happen to anyone else? Even if they were to make a Deadpool series on Disney+, Plus, what would something like that look like? It's no secret that there are a slew of issues with the current MCU. We even made an entire video highlighting all those problems that you can uh, click on somewhere around here. Or you can't do that anymore, can you? Never mind. <laughs> the Avengers messed up with so many different timelines in Endgame and created so many alternate realities that the universe is now completely out of whack. Tony talked to his dad, Thor talked to his mom, Gamora from the past is now roaming freely in the present, and the list goes on and on of glaring time travel related issues. What if that's Deadpool's task to fix? That would be pretty fun, having him jump around from timeline to timeline, fixing all the holes. It would give him the opportunity to interact with several other characters, and you already know Deadpool would have a field day with all those fourth wall breaking opportunities. It would be a lot of fun to see him traveling around through space and time, but grudgingly cleaning up the mess left behind by the now retired Captain America and the rest of all our fan favorites. If they don't go with the show concept, there's still a high likelihood that we get a third Deadpool movie. It would have to be something different though. They can't just introduce a new bad guy to be defeated, sprinkle on some sarcastic jokes, and essentially do the same movie all over again. Fans were already pretty bothered by the fact that Deadpool 2 was essentially just a watered down remake of the original Deadpool movie. While the first movie was brilliant because it was fresh and new, the second felt more like it was written by a stepdad trying to bond with his new stepson. Not that it wasn't good, it just wasn't better than the original. If they opt to make a third, it would need to be something completely different to avoid falling into Austin Powers or The Hangover territory. There are a number of ways that they can make a third Deadpool movie feel fresh and exciting. For starters, they've already added Cable to the team, so there's what to work with there. They also briefly introduced Juggernaut, who could potentially be an awesome villain moving forward. Yeah, it's the Juggernaut! They could also reintroduce Wolverine, who has quite the history with Deadpool, both as an ally and an adversary. If you'll recall, they met on screen in the past. You probably would rather not recall, but it happened. Remember that terrible scene in X-Men Origins? Oh yeah, you know how they say you can't have the good without the bad? Well, Marvel definitely owes us the good after that stinker. Then again, the guy that wrote that movie is the same guy who wrote the last season of Game of Thrones. So maybe Marvel isn't completely to blame, only the person in charge of hiring writers. Who would have thought that the biggest Marvel villain of them all would be David Benioff? Okay, so will Deadpool appear in a Spider-Man movie? Will he be Noob Master 69? Will he get his own streaming show? Will they make a new Deadpool movie? Or why not all of the above? It's entirely possible that they go with all these routes and figure out a way for it to make sense. As long as Ryan Reynolds is behind the mask, it'll be good, right? Oh dear, what if they recast? That probably wouldn't go over well with fans, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool character was an asset of Fox. Now that it's owned by Disney, they may opt to just reset the role. It's already expected that they'll recast the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, if slash when they decide to incorporate them into the MCU. One would expect them to keep Ryan Reynolds, seeing as how it's such an iconic role, but there's no guarantee. They very well might scrap the entire Fox side of things and pretend none of it ever happened and just start fresh with an entirely new cast. There's clearly a lot of hypotheticals being tossed around with no concrete plans as of yet. Here's what we suggest though. Keep things the way they are. Deadpool is a great character, so is Spider-Man, and the MCU is at an all time peak right now. So why mess with it? You know the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. Just leave it be. Things are great, let us enjoy. So how do you see Deadpool fitting into Marvel's plans? Will he appear in the MCU? Will he get his own show on Disney's streaming platform? Or do you anticipate something else that we didn't even mention? Sound off in the comments down below and let us know what you think. Also, before you leave, 
we highly recommend you press that subscribe button because it's the best decision you'll make this week. If you like this video, there's plenty more where this came from. Oh, and if you smash that thumbs up button, I'll be your best friend. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.